So we've reviewed this year's LEGO Star Wars Advent Calendar early, just in case you needed any convincing to pick it up. We've now built a few alternate builds using only pieces from that. And now today, we're gonna take a little trip through the history of the Advent Calendar, specifically looking at all the minifigures LEGO have given Christmas jumpers or Christmas sweaters to, because there are some really, really good designs. But not only that, we'll be improving the minifigures as well, because I don't think LEGO have done their best when it's come to these minifigures. We will not be touching or changing the jumper itself, but just adding accessories and improving the minifigures themselves. And also taking a look at a few other ones that I think should be in this list. There are one or two that I do not own, but we'll talk about that towards the end of the video. We'll start off with chronological order and the first Christmas sweater or Christmas jumper minifigures came out in the 2020 advent calendar and that is Darth Vader and Poe Dameron. Like I said back in 2020, we got an advent calendar with not only Darth Vader, but also Poe Dameron. But we'll take a look at the Dark Lord of the Sith first. You can see on his jumper, we've got the first Death Star, which it is important to note, it is the first Death Star for one of our minifigures later on. Vader himself is the same as the regular minifigure we got besides this torso, similar to the summary one we got not too long ago. And if I turn him around, hopefully you'll be able to see that the back of the torso is also detailed with a few different snowflakes, or perhaps they are stars and the same different detailing on top and bottom that we got on the front of the torso. It almost looks like some scaffolding or still work, which matches up nicely with the Death Star. But I do have the original minifigure to compare for you. And like I said, the exact same face is on underneath these. It's the headpiece we are used to getting, the less happy expression on Darth Vader, which I think definitely matches up to his character a bit better than the smiley one we used to get. But it's a solid minifigure nonetheless, and I think we'll move straight on to Poe Dameron. Poe's Christmas jumper does have BB-8 on the front, which is really, really nice. And again, on the back, similar wavy patterns to the front with some stars or perhaps snowflakes. I like the fact that they do work as stars. It's not something I've thought about before making this video, but for accessories, We've got a black pistol and a red cup, which actually makes this potentially the only exclusive variation of Poe, as in it's not based off any other minifigure. I had a look for the hair and the legs, and the closest minifigure I could find to this one, based on everything but the torso, is this version from the Rise of Skywalker, which has the same face print hair piece and somewhat the same accessory. Though you can see the pistol used on this Rise of Skywalker Poe is a lot shinier and is in that light silver color rather than just being black that we see in the advent and of course, no red mug. So I'm not quite sure why they didn't just take the legs from this minifigure and add them to the Christmas version. I think that does look good for a Poe Dameron and also matches up to what we see for the Christmas figures down the line. It's definitely an odd choice because we do get two more sequel characters later on. Jumping forward to 2021, we then get the Mandalorian in the advent. And this is a pretty nice minifigure. Again, the torso is the only thing different. I did question whether I could keep this on the list because he's not wearing a Christmas jumper, just has that extra scarf. But if we take out there were so many different Mandalorian minifigures with different accessories, but the closest to this just came with his jetpack on the back. So that is definitely one improvement we can make for this Mandalorian minifigure. But I've also opted to give him an accessory in this Beskar colored mug. It does match up to the helmet that Mando is wearing. So I think this would work really, really well, especially after getting Poe Dameron with a red mug in the last year. And to go along with Mando, we got the Christmas Grogu, which is the one in red, which looks very similar to the regular Grogu we get, but has a completely unique torso print, which you might be able to make out as well as a Christmas sweater. Grogu does also have a scarf to match up to Mando's, which I think is completely adorable. Unlike Mando, Grogu does come with an accessory, which is this pouch so you can Place him on the Mandalorian himself, and you can see it does still work with the jetpack. So 
Including the jetpack wouldn't hurt this feature. For 2022, we did end up getting one minifigure in a Christmas jumper, and that was C-3PO. The advent did also come with the summary Darth Vader I mentioned earlier, which has no place on this list, but we do get R2-D2 in what can best be described as a Christmas jumper. Now, I'm sure R2 doesn't exactly fit in a regular jumper, but this looks like it's been tailor-made, so perhaps I'll have to pick these up at some point. 2023 is another odd year because we've got this Ewok who definitely is in a Christmas jumper considering that headwear is the only clothing that Ewoks wear but it's not really based off any character in particular. It definitely uses Wicket's mold so I guess this can be considered a snow covered Wicket in a Christmas jumper. I would have loved to seen what Wicket looked like with this green headwear. I'll be completely honest, I had no idea what accessories I could give this Christmassy wicket, so I went with this yellow mug and it will make more sense later on. Palpatine was the mug holder for this advent and you can see that his Christmas jumper does have the second Death Star on it, which if you remember back to 2020, the first Christmas jumpers we got, Vader has the Death Star one and Palpatine now comes with the sequel, which I think is a really awesome Easter egg. But when we compare it to the Palpatine from the throne room diorama with the brand new Sith eyes, by the way, let me know down in the comments if you are a fan of these new colored eyes. You can see that there are definitely a few things missing, most notably that cape. And as far as improvements go, I've also given Palpatine this white mark, which I'd have loved to see him printed, with World's Best Emperor, especially as it was included in the Christmas special of that year. Speaking of the Christmas special, we do have Rey and Finn minifigures. Again, I'm looking at picking these up in the future, but these go perfectly with Poe Dameron. And though they weren't part of the advents, I couldn't not talk about them in this video. And that brings us to this year where we have first up our Luke Skywalker minifigure. And rather than including Christmas trees, BB-8 or Death Stars on the tour. So this actually includes a reference to his homeworld of Tatooine, the sand crawler on the back, the Lars homestead on the front and is really cool in that red and green color. It's been a while since we got a Luke Skywalker minifigure. So this also like the Emperor calls back to the final dual throne room diorama. And it's nice to see that Luke Skywalker hairpiece again, because it means it probably won't be leaving anytime soon. And perhaps we can see this on a few more minifigures for Luke Skywalker going forward. This minifigure is pretty much perfect, so there's really nothing I can improve. And onto Leia, who is a particularly tricky minifigure because on first glance, especially with the box of the advent, I assume this was a Hoth Leia. I mean, she is wearing a Hoth jumper. You can see the Tauntaun, the shield generator, a few snow speeders, and even an AT-80 on the front. But her hair, should have really given it away because it actually uses the New Hope dress as the base minifigure. I mean, you can see now it is quite obvious with the plain white legs rather than the printed legs that come in the Hoth Leia minifigure. And the big giveaway is that hairpiece, which is very different to how she styles it at the start of Empire. This Leia minifigure in particular comes from only two sets, the Trash Compactor Diorama, and the set that sees her and Luke swinging across the Death Star from A New Hope. And I do think there are a few improvements we could make. Not only could we give her the blaster to match how the minifigure came in the set, but as I've mentioned, this minifigure came in two sets. And if you swap out the head for the Assault on Hoff minifigure, that's just the UCS minifigure we got in the second Death Star. What I feel LEGO should have done is included this dress piece that only showed up in one X-Wing playset, which was a bit more expensive than the other Death Star playset we got Leia in. So for people that didn't manage to pick up the minifigure, it would have given them this dress piece, which is really, really cool, and something better than just plain white legs. Out of all of the Christmas figures we've gone over in this video, I think my favorite is definitely the Luke Skywalker from this year. And if you want to see some of the alternate builds that I created using that advent, check out the video on the left. But if you've already seen that, check out the video YouTube recommends on the right. And thank you so much for making it to the end of this video. May the bricks be with you always.